I don't know that he has any other choice either but okay. to be patient. I'm not quite sure who made him the spokesperson for people who have to wait. When you're a free agent and people are talking about 300, 400, 500 million dollars, everything is highlighted on a year like this year. What have you always told me about LeBron James? It's hard to figure out how to play with LeBron. He's great. He has aura. He has he has magnetism to him. And when he steps on the court, every the focal point goes on him. And all of a sudden, all those kids are going to be on a much bigger stage than they have ever experienced. I love what Josh Hart is doing in the summer league. Okay. He's going to be this, the MVP, and they stole him at the bottom. Of, remember, Magic in his first draft, he gets Alonzo. I'm still a big fan. You're not, but it's still. I'm, I'm buying that one. I'm buying Kuzma, and I'm buying Josh Hart, who yeah. looks like he could be not a star, but a star turf. Magic Johnson is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. You remember, Skip, when he went to Miami, they started 9-8 and eight and ended up winning 58 games. Okay. Uh, he comes back to Cleveland. They're 19 and 20 before they win 53 games. Mm. Now the difference is, <laughs> Chris Bosh was in his seventh year, mm -hmm. eighth year. LeBron, uh, D Way, all those guys were veteran players. I'd say. Now you're bringing LeBron in, who's the veteran player. Mm -hmm. I think that LeBron has actually, if you study it, shown some willingness to be patient in the past. Secondly, looking at the combination he wanted, which was an opportunity to win a team with the flexibility and willingness to build to win, and family, and maybe even business. I think he he said this is the only, there was no ready-made situation. I don't know that he has any other choice either but okay. to be patient. I saw him go to Cleveland four years ago, write a letter saying how he knows they're not ready to win right now, how he knows it's going to be a long process. And by December of that year, he was so frustrated with where the team was at that he was taking a little Miami siesta. LeBron can say he's gonna be patient and take the long view. Once the games start, he holds his teammates to a super high standard and he's never played with a team this young. There's going to be growing pains associated with that. The person Calvin Johnson was in college and entering the NFL was the person Calvin Johnson was retiring. The person Jerry Rice was his rookie year is who Jerry Rice was his last year. T.O. was holding press conferences in his driveway doing sit-ups, hiding Sharpies, going to the star in Dallas. So the Hall of Fame is shocked that this is who he is? You're starting to see more and more guys speak out with gold jackets because they feel it's disrespectful. For me, I've let T.O. know that I'm disappointed, but this is his wish. He wants to go it alone. He wants to be at his own ceremony uh, at his alma mater, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, mm -hmm. and that's his wish. But I don't really know what they want the Hall to do. Terrell Owens was the most divisive teammate I ever covered in all my career. And that's what I kept telling you. You can give me those numbers. They're, they're spectacular numbers. They are first ballot Hall of Fame numbers. Right. I give you that. But because of this, and because it wasn't off the field, it's actually on the field, divisive, in the locker room, in the huddle, wherever it is, that he wouldn't be in my Hall of Fame. He's not the first guy that's had to wait. He's not going to be the last guy that's had to wait. And I'm not quite sure who made him the spokesperson for people who have to wait. <laughs> Like, I don't think anybody asked him to be a spokesperson. Jerry Kramer is a personal friend of mine, um, University of Idaho great. Um, and as, as are you. A, alma mater. And yeah. he has been nothing but gracious to me. That guy waited for five decades. We don't need anyone to represent him. The guys that have been snubbed by the hall, that are in the hall, the great Harry Carson, the Giants linebacker who told them to take him off the list after 10 years. He's in the hall. I see him every year there, and he's just as proud as anyone else. The thing that T.O. doesn't realize is, in the hall, we're just all one football team. If T.O. took that stage, and uh, absent of bitterness, and talk and tried to explain, if you know anything about his childhood, he had a very traumatic childhood, tried to explain, hey, listen, I know I wasn't always the best guy. It, 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 it came from a place of wanting to win, even if it was nonsense. We would have bought into, at least many people would have, a reinvention of himself. And instead he tripled down on what were the worst parts about his personality.
when you're a free agent and people are talking about 300, 400, 500 million dollars for one player and you're not running down first base, everything is highlighted on a year like this year. So that's something to watch. He's dug himself a big hole statistically and reputation. It'll be very interesting to see what happens to Bryce Harper in the second half. He is under scrutiny. He is frustrated right now. You're right. He doesn't want to hit 214. That's not Bryce Harper. So it's all kind of piling on. And Alex is right. I know this from covering these guys, and I know this from talking to them and watching them. Free agent year has a different effect on different players. And the world is expected of him. And the 400 million is expected of him. Not so easy when things don't go so well. We're all expecting him to bounce back. Mm -hmm. I like your point. The money's going to be there. I think it's about length. I mean, listen, he's going to be 26 years old with like Hall of Fame kind of power. So you like the fact you're buying his prime years. But what I said about his swing now, I'm starting to hear from other baseball executives that do you want to project that swing out 10, 11, 12 years down the line? I don't know. Look around the game. Do you see anybody in their 30s swinging like that? Mm -hmm. The answer is no. So I think you're going to see at this point, if he doesn't change in the second half, I still think he will. But if he doesn't, Shorter term, maybe four or five years with a huge average annual value, say 40 million a year. I think the numbers are there. They're there. 23 home runs and 54 every eyes at the break. That's not bad. He just needs to focus on being Bryce Harper, using the whole line. Use, I mean, stay within himself and just have a great second half. And I, I asked you that question, Kenny, because I'm looking at the Nationals. If they want to keep this guy homegrown, this guy's going to be a Hall of Famer one day. Homegrown, make your best offer now. Give Scott Boris something to think about because we saw what happened last year in free agency.